In more local news, a Bentonville High School teacher, now a U.S. citizen, after living in the United States for 24 years. Fox 24's Crystal Martinez shares Sandra Boyd's story on why the right to vote pushed her to achieve this dream. Despair is like there is no hope. Sandy Boyd came to the United States from Guatemala when she was three years old. She became a permanent resident at 17 years old. Ten years later, she's now a U.S. citizen. For me personally, it was that one final step into being able to say, I can now vote, I can now have my voice heard. For four years, Sandy Boyd has taught English classes here at Bentonville High School, but now she's using her story to teach her students to use their voice outside of the classroom. Tone is the way an author wants you to feel. It's been a nearly seventh month long process for Boyd, which included filling out tons of paperwork, a thousand dollar application fee, and a lot of hard work. You have to go in and do an interview where you are tested on your English speaking and writing ability, um, which is funny because I teach English. Boyd says she also had to study a hundred questions about America's civics and history. Only 10 would be asked at random during the test. You have to get at least six correct, and it is a verbal test. So there's no multiple choice, there's no recall, it's just do you remember what the answers are? At the end of September, she got the official date for her oath swearing ceremony, an opportunity she's waited years for. What better way to showcase this freedom that we have to make our voice heard and to show my students, like, this does matter. Your voice does count. She says she wants people, especially her students, to exercise their right to vote, a right she says many of us take for granted. All of this information that you're receiving, you can use that to make informed decisions and make sure that you are using the ability to vote and the ability to share that information freely in the best way possible. In Bentonville, Crystal Martinez, Fox 24 News. Crystal,